Hello, Speech 30, and hello, Diliman. I am Jorge Farnes Jan A. Bedoya from Elegant City, Lano del Norte. At naniniwala ko sa kasabihan na kung hindi para sa iyo, it's not for you. At hindi magiging sapat ang never enough. And I thank you. Oh my God, I can see you all smiling. So I thank you for that. Kasi I'm really, not, I'm really not that confident about my jokes. And at the same time, I'm not that comfortable about expressing my queerness in public. Pero what drives me to do this is, of course, cloud. Kasi I'm a cloud chaser. And I do believe that being one can be a tool for change. Holy big words! <laughs> I think, joking aside. Yes, really, because cloud chase is to have influence or power. Therefore, we can really change something or someone if we use our influence properly. Right? Right? Right, because I'm right. And with that being said, what if hindi ako naging cloud chaser? Why? Why that question? Eh kasi, there's this prevalent concept in our Philippine society that holds much disruptive power to the point that it would invalidate my efforts and feelings and also to other queer individuals. That is how heteronormative ideas can do which brings forth homophobic discourse in our society. Let's start first by recognizing the problem and how it impedes the growth of queer artists. Let's take, a, let's take a look at these pictures, and in my survey, the majority of you have described these celebrities as funny, witty, comedic, entertaining, which is true naman, kasi we have been seeing them doing that for a long period of time. Pero naging problema siya eh. kasi the majority of the public only saw them as nagpapatawa lang and nothing more than that. And this relates to the concept of celebrification. According to Oliver Dreesens, it is when an individual becomes a particular ideal through the actors or celebrities work with or within that media system. Therefore, the perception of these celebrities or artists as entertainers lang stems from how the audiences are shaping them to be like that. The public's perception limits the artists themselves into doing more art and work. And this is what I'm scared of, eh? Kasi I had that perception before, and my perception of being queer was also limited to what they show in the media. I have realized that we queers are being recognized if kami ay nagpapatawa lang ng ibang tao. And that, that is not in my case too, kasi I have asked the members of the LGBTQ community if they have felt the need to have a good sense of humor. Majority of them said yes. The same people also felt pressured if they couldn't radiate entertaining vibes to others. This implies that we are being put like this by the society. And in my case, I needed to be funny, to be entertaining so that people would not bully me or harass me. So that people would just see me as an actual human being. This further stretches out to the heteronormative stigma na yung mga stereotypical roles na makikita natin noon sa TV ng mga gay, flamboyant, shameless man na puro make-up at lalaki yung hanap o yung mga lesbian na may mga mio daw at ginagawang manyakis pag may, may dumadaan na babae. All of this, as Kazo and Ward stated, are attempts of the heterosexual society to define and impose other sexualities on themselves, which leads to the discrimination of peers. And why does this exist? Kasi may mga examples eh. Kasi yung mga nag impose na yung drag ay hindi daw isang art at trabaho lamang tapos nakakahawa daw sa mga bata. This exists because we have been tolerated and not accepted. It is so painful to experience that they do not recognize that we are doing more than the stereotypical box. It is hard for us queers to see as actual people who love, who kiss, and sometimes who wants to get married. Sinabais at ayon, they normally ate cake as normal couple, yet they receive hate. And as Esquivel adds on this whole concept, 
the thought of us existing for ourselves beyond easy humor because all of this time we have been casted as secondary characters only written to get an extra few laughs tends to cause discomfort to those people who adhere to the hetero ideas. Therefore, this problem, we should deal with this. And how? How to deal with this? Remember, my friends, that this problem is culturally and socially constructed by people who adhere to the hetero ideas. Therefore, we can act upon it and we should act upon it. We should try to change our perceptions on how we shape these artists. By being subversive, we are disorienting the normative ideas brought upon by religion and colonial mindset that widely affects the acceptance of homosexuality. And as queers, through the pedestal that we create, we can be a true representation of what it feels like to be part of the LGBTQ community such as casting queers to BL dramas or casting queers to more in-depth characters, hindi dun sa mga stereotypical ones. And through the mga platform spaces and performance spaces that have been given to us, ay naging isang opportunity sa amin na maging social advocates, such as HIV awareness. Therefore, we can be a medium for open-mindedness in the society. Pagaya ni Brett Manrock, naging isang cover ng Philippines Vogue at nakapagsulat pa siya ng isang libro to inspire others. At clarify ko lang po, hindi po sila niyong queer, kundi si Nika Del Rosario, isang singer and songwriter na gumawa ng kantang Rosas na wala ni campaign. At yung kantang yun ay nakapagbubuklod-buklod ng mga maraming Filipino. Si Michelle D. at Beatrice Gomez, Miss Universe Philippines, di ba? At ito pa, yung mga queer individuals ngayon, they are able to share and retell their stories through TikToks and other social medias, therefore making the public be aware and sympathize with the queers. That is how language can really be powerful. And queer artists exist as simula pa lang. What they need is empowerment and proper recognition. So, what if nga no, hindi ako naging cloud chaser? Hindi ako yun. Kasi I'm official cloud chaser talaga. And hindi ako makapag-influence ng tao. Also, those negativities that I've mentioned would just prevail. Therefore, I chase cloud through knowledge and language, not to become more powerful, but to become more ethical. I want to transcend beyond and show to people that kaya ko ang gusto kong gawin, whether it may be masculine, feminine, guapo or guapa, through teaching, film, and theater. I want to become a good role model, especially for children, na, and also saying that it is okay for finding who you truly are. And I want to become a good instrument and instill faith in humanity to make people realize that the world, the universe rather, <laughs> could be painted with all varieties of colors. I think it's a lot. Gusto ko pong mag-share na, at mag-sabi especially na, Mga pa, ako pa rin po ito. Hindi po ako nagbago. Ako pa rin po ito yung anak niyong inuluwa sa mundong ito. Yung anak niyo pong matigas yung ulo, yung drinker, yung minsan bobo pero minsan tanga, minsan matalino, minsan artista ng bayan. Ako pa rin po ito isang bakla mula pagkabata hanggang ngayon. At gusto ko pa lamang sabihin na hindi po ako isang baklang nakikita nyo lamang po sa TV noon kundi isang baklang anak nyo po muli ako si Jarl for this John A. Bedoya isang cloud chaser at naniniwala sa kasabihan na kung sa paningin nyo ako isang bakla oo pero isang baklang kayang gumawa ang gusto kong gawin and I thank you